after doing um, part, what is it, part six of the cent artwork centerpiece, I forgot to show the back of it, how the pocket watch is actually kept in place. So, turning this around, Redwood's holding it in. It's a little bit thicker than I would like, so I might even change that out. This is all held together. The frame that is simply pegged with also Redwood. To preserve the pocket watch, I won't be glossing it because um, if water gets trapped or moisture gets trapped underneath it, it'll just corrode it. So the best thing to do is just keep it oiled with linseed oil. And um, it will also conser conserve the timber around it. Um, as I said, I upcycle, recycle everything. And this was once a art box, but a lot of the timber was dry rot. And this is a section I saved from it. Um, part, of, part of that art box also went to the bottom of the shoe shine box stool as well. And because it's just extremely expensive to get this size timber. And most and hardware stores don't sell that. You'd have to actually have it made or go to a um, lumber yard and have it professionally cut and then, yeah, very expensive. So, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show was the back of that. And that hole there is for the actual, because the watch itself, the mechanics is all intact as far as I know. So even the winder that uses a key winder is still intact, that's what you're seeing there. So I'll actually put this in part of, um, in front of the um, previous video I did of this update. Hello <laughs> everyone. Well, those who wish to watch this, this is an update on the um, so table bench or utility bench um, centerpiece or centerpiece artwork and <clears throat> you may have may not have noticed but I have when I was doing this originally I do not care whether the inlay, if the inlay was in deep enough or not because I had planned on carving around the outside of it as you can probably see this will get reworked with a burning um, technique um, which I have to make up as I go along and while some of it I also my eyesight wasn't the best either. I didn't have the magnifying glass to see what I was doing. And but besides that, I've reset some inlay. And um so I can carve around it outside of it a little bit better. But um <clears throat> Even some of the flower bit, I'm going to have to reset. As I said, at the beginning I didn't care, I just wanted to get it in there. And I should note that I've used PVA glue, not um, super glue or resin, to glue it in basically, so that I could remove it. And I'll keep on using PVA glue because um, 
eventually the timber will probably deteriorate over a long period of time, but the shell will probably stay in pretty good condition, which means it can be restored or whatever, if anything like that ever happens. This is what I'm watching at the moment. <coughs> That's what you're hearing. It's in Japanese. Well, at the moment it is. I might change that over to English actually. I think I might have seen this one. But anyway, <coughs> that's the update on that. I'm also carving this down. Some of this might have to also be replaced because it might not be thick enough. Because um, my intention was to carve this down, make it more symmetrical and squared without changing too much of the sides. Because I still haven't put the brackets in to hold this in place for the, the bench table. The brackets are here. They're the brackets that also haven't been painted yet either. They have to be a custom size without making them. So. I suppose this is part six and will become chapter one, I suppose. So, um, yeah. I've been awake probably for about two hours, maybe. As I've started exercising again. A small amount of exercise. Oh, with the agility ladder as well to for my cardio before exercise because I always do cardio before I exercise and after cardio afterwards to cool down. So at the moment I'm just doing um, arch sit ups, push ups, and squats at the moment, and um, that will be I'll, ha I'll be adding more exercises to that and the amount I do for each one. Anyway, that's a different video. Okay.